hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys could tell by the title of this video this video is gonna be about what unexpected blessings are coming towards you so pal number one you're going to be the pink egg pal number two you're going to be the yellow egg and pal number three you're going to be the gray egg So again, pile number one, pink egg, pile number two, yellow egg, and pile number three, gray egg. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the egg that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Pawan, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked the pink egg and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number one, what unexpected blessings are coming towards you? What unexpected blessings are coming towards you, my pal number one? We have the two of cups. Okay, so this is love, a new love offer. I feel like for you, pal number one, if it resonates with you, it's something that you have been manifesting. You have been manifesting new love, a new partnership, a new relationship. I feel like you've learned all your karmic lessons when it comes to love and it's finally your moment to experience the love of your dreams the person that is meant to be with you the person that is um like divinely ordained or like given to you by your ancestors like your blessings that's like something that is part of your destiny to experience a true love because you've learned all your karmic lessons so it is, it is part of your destiny to experience real love true love and that's the blessing that's coming towards you okay so let's see what other blessings are coming towards you but i feel like it's mainly love what blessings are coming towards you what unexpected blessings we have the nine of cups oh my god guys wish fulfillment it's the, a desire so pile number one if you don't want new love like if you don't want the real love if that's not what your desire is then maybe it's not your pile this is speaking of love this is speaking of a desire that you always wanted to have and then i feel like out of one point in your life you got really discouraged you feel like okay well maybe it's not for me maybe it's never going to happen maybe i'm not destined for this true love maybe i did something in my past life no you have not done anything in your past life it's not that it's not destined for you you had to go through certain lessons in life in order to reach that level that you are right now in order to manifest with ease because i feel like you have mastered your manifestation skills so you did the meditation the scripting the writing the visualizing you did all of that good jazz and now finally it's coming to fruition because maybe before the spiritual lessons were <clears throat> you were not seeing the red flags initially or you were you know allowing people to do things without checking them the first time you know it could have been like certain things like that that was like allowing you to go back to certain cycles but now that you've learned and now that you're just not 
tolerating anything less than what you feel you deserve, your blessing is coming towards you. It's the wish fulfillment. It's going to be an equal give and take connection because the six of pentacles fell on the floor. It's going to be equal give and take. You're not going to be receiving less than you give out. And this person is going to be generous with you as well. Like they're going to be extremely generous. So you are, okay, so you know what I'm getting? You are attracting the list that you've made for yourself. So let's say, for instance, you said, oh, I want my man or oh, I want my woman to be generous. This person is going to be generous. Oh, I want my man or oh, I want my woman to be um, a certain height. They're going to be a certain height or a certain like. Um, I'm going to like some of you even specify a background. It's not for all of you. Or like you said, OK, I want this person to be uh, family oriented you you know specification like certain things like um characteristics and personality traits that you said you want in a partner this person is going to be just that like you've like manifested like your desires to the t this person is not gonna lack anything so what um unexpected blessings is coming towards you six of cups yeah it's a soulmate look at them Look at the vibes. It's a soulmate connection that you are attracting. That's the blessing that's coming towards you. And it's like, I feel like it's long overdue for you, my pal, number one. Like, I feel like it's been a while since you're like, when is this going to happen for me? When am I going to meet this person? Like, is this even going to happen for me? This is the energy I'm getting and I'm getting chills, guys. Like, I really feel like you almost like give up. You were like, I'm done. Like, I, I can't do this anymore. Like, I keep attracting the same type of people or I keep attracting um, low vibing people. Like, you're thinking it's something wrong with you, but it's just lessons that you were supposed to learn. And you've learned all your lessons. And it's now time for you to reap the rewards of all the effort that you put in, all of the shadow work that you've done. What unexpected... Yes, four of pentacles. So there's also what your unexpected blessing is stability when it comes to your finances a lot more stability what unexpected blessings is coming towards you and wow we have eight of cups so some of you have yeah i feel like some of you have given up on something you're like okay you know what it's not working this is not working out for me i'm not getting the results i want i'm not seeing you know the efforts of all the hard work that i've put in I'm done. I'm going to walk away. I feel like you walking away, you emotionally withdrawing from your desires is what attracted your desires faster to you. Because you're not like whenever you have like some sort of like um, like there, it was could have been like some sort of resistance I'm getting because you that desire you wanted. It's like, oh, I want this. I want this. I want this. But when you say I want this, you're telling the universe, I don't have this. So you're like, okay, I don't care. Like, you're like, I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. If it's there, if it's not there, I don't care. I'm walking away. And because you release the resistance by doing that, it's coming towards you faster. Like, I'm I'm getting like, you're going to meet this person. It could be within weeks, within months, but it's going to be this year. It's not going to be like another year pass by and then you still haven't met your person. No, it's this year. What unexpected blessings is coming towards you? Like, it's not going to be like, ooh, justice. This is destined. This is like the universe, a blessing. This is a karmic, um, like a karmic blessing, meaning it was like, it's a good karma coming back to you with justice. This person could be a Libra or you could be Libra here. What unexpected blessings is coming towards you? Guys, the lovers. Oh my God, the lovers, I'm telling you, <laughs> this is your karmic justice for all the, you know, all the nights that you cried, all the people that played you, you know, you know, mistreated you. They're going to have to watch you as well. There's one particular person that was, that was out to get you. Like this person was really bad mind. Okay. And this person did something to you that was foul. They're going to have to watch you be loved by someone. And they won't have access to you. Like, I feel like you already cut them off. But they, they just, after that, they won't even have access to you at all. We have the seven of pentacles. It's long overdue. You've waited. You've put it in the work. 
and this is going to be a patient love a long-term relationship where this person is gonna be with you for the long haul it's not gonna be like some sort of flighty connection and here we have um, this is uh, judgment and then we have the Sun this is something that was meant to happen for you it is destined to happen for you and in the Sun is gonna be you're gonna be so happy okay we have a Leo here Gemini Libra this person could be those signs so that that could be you or just that's just the energy we have here what unexpected yes we have the fool okay so it's going to happen Ooh, we have the devil as well this is going to be passionate though it's going to be a passionate love a lot of attraction like physical attraction i'm getting okay with the fool you're gonna to have to take a leap of faith towards this person okay because it's gonna happen out of nowhere you're not gonna see it coming like it's not going to be like, okay, tomorrow you're going to see this person at Tim Hortons or at Starbucks. Like, it's not something like that. It's going to be like, okay, you're being nudged to go somewhere today. But you're like, oh, I don't want to go. I don't want to go there. Okay, fine. I'm going to go. And then you end up going and then boom, you meet this person. It's going to be like a situation like that where you don't feel like doing something, but then you're being nudged. Your, spirits, your spirit guys are telling you, no, just go, just go, just go. And you don't know why you want to go, but... You're like, okay, I'm just gonna listen and go. And then that's how you're gonna meet this person. It's gonna be a magnetic attraction. It's gonna be a passion. I feel like initially you're gonna be a little bit scared about the attraction with the devil because it's gonna be so intense that you're gonna be like, oh my God, maybe this is not, this is another karmic lessons, but it's not. It's just like, you know, it's kind of like love at first sight type of energy. And you're gonna feel like, oh my God, maybe this is not real. Maybe it's just in my mind. Maybe it's another lesson. Like. Spirit is telling you just go with the flow. Don't rush anything. Like just go with the flow. What unexpected blessings is coming towards you? Yeah, Page of Cups. Yeah, it's gonna start start off as a friendship with the Page of Cups, and then it's gonna grow. It's not gonna be like this person is not gonna love bomb you. They're not gonna do. They're not gonna rush you into intimacy. It's gonna go at its own pace. Like you guys are gonna get to know each other and eventually you're gonna see like oh my gosh yeah this is the one and they're gonna feel the same way and then you guys are gonna be like oh my god oh my god this is the one and then eventually it's just gonna be like okay the first person's gonna be like do you like do you want to make it exclusive or you're gonna ask them to be exclusive whichever one is more uh, in their masculine energy is gonna be the one that's gonna initiate the exclusivity of this connection so what unexpected blessings is coming towards you yes page of wands yeah it's gonna be so exciting yeah, this is love, guys. This is like a loving relationship that is coming towards you. And it's going to be pay, um, uh, peaceful. And I heard painless. Yes, high priestess. Oh, my God. It's, it's a spiritual connection. And also your, spirit, um, your intuition is going to heighten. That's like the blessing that you're going to gain with this new love. Because you're going to be a new frequency. So it's going to be even better. Like, you're going to be able to... It's like as if you guys are going to be able to send each other messages telepathically with the high priestess. Like this connection is going to be like no other. Like that's how you're going to know is the is the real deal because you've never experienced this before. It's totally different from your past because it's, it's not going to be the same. It's going to be like you're going to know that you reach a certain level in your life because it's not going to feel the same as the past. Like certain things, let's say for, for instance, in the past, you used to have people that used to love bomb you and then tell you all the things that you want to hear from the beginning of the relationship but you know within a week or two they were telling you i love you and all these things this person is not going to do that they're not going to tell you i love you they're not going to tell you oh i feel like we're, we're soulmates they're not going to do any of that because they're not going to want to scare you off even though they feel like that they're just going to be like okay let me see how it goes let me see let me see if what i feel is real and then they're gonna go with time like you know eventually maybe after four or five months they tell you okay you know what i feel like this is real this is i want to be exclusive like they're gonna take their time they're gonna want to they're gonna want to invest in you as well with the seven of pentacles yes wheel of fortune guys this is like destiny we also have uh, justice it's destined to happen this is what is meant to happen for you it's written in the stars for you and we have the seven of wands this love is protected by your spirit guys no one can come in between you guys unless you allow it that's the only way but other than that it's spiritually protected with the seven of wands 
what unexpected blessings is coming oh my god guys i can't make it up nine of cups is a wish fulfillment oh my god i'm loving this this is for you oh. <laughs> yes this is what you, this is what i'm talking about okay nine of cups is a desire of yours like i said at the beginning of the reading if love is not a desire if love is not a wish fulfillment then this is not your pile this is for people that want the new love this is not a karmic coming back because they they realize you you were the best thing no it's none of that it's not no past person this is a brand new person fresh energy somebody aligned with you somebody who may have had similar love experience as you so no no past person what do we have here take action so yeah that's like you know when i was saying about your intuition something is going to nudge you to do something to go somewhere like that's what i'm getting here take action what unexpected oh be assertive mm. Mm -mm -mm. yeah take action be assertive like that means don't sit back and allow things to happen you know when you get that intuitive nudge take action it says compromise oh there could be like an age difference this person could have everything you want, but maybe you were not specific about the age. They could be younger or a little bit older than you. Or it could be like um, some sort of like maybe religion is different. So you could be Christian. That person could be Muslim. Hinduism. Okay. It could be different religion. Or maybe this person does not like you're spiritual and they are Christian or Muslim or like, you know, there's something different where the compromise, like, are you going to allow that to stop you just because they don't have that one thing that you did not, I feel like it's something that you didn't specify with the compromise. What an expected blessing. When is this blessing going to come? When is this blessing gonna come? There's too many cards, just one. It says, don't stop. Don't stop. So when it comes, don't stop. And it says, remain positive. Okay. I know the glare of the ring light. Yeah, don't stop. Like, I'm getting like, it's the compromise. Like, don't stop. Don't allow the compromise. Like, you know, if it's one thing, it doesn't have to be religion. I was just giving an example. It could be anything that you did not specify that maybe, I don't feel like it's a deal breaker, but it's just something that like, do you, are you really going to allow it to affect this connection? So it says, don't stop. Okay. So that's all I have for you, my pal. Number one, I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye! Hi, pal two! Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So, my pal number two, you picked the yellow egg, and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number two, what unexpected blessings is coming towards you, my pal number two? What unexpected blessings is coming towards you? Okay, so let's see. Ooh, we have the page of pentacles. There could be like an offer, a financial opportunity. It may seem small at the beginning, but it has the potential to grow into something solid. Like, I feel like it could be like a partnership, but it could be a sum of money that's coming in. Gonna allow you to improve on some sort of a aspect of your life. What unexpected blessings is coming towards you? Ooh, we have the six of cups and we have the lovers. So I feel like you're gonna have, you're gonna be presented with some choice. 
uh, like multiple choices and I feel like there's it the unexpected blessing is something from the past is returning where you're going to have to make a choice with the six of cups and the lover something that you always wanted to do a past um, a dream <clears throat> that you wanted to come to fruition with the six of cups and the lovers okay we have six six here something to do with your home life um i feel like also this could be like a childhood um dream that you wanted to undertake and then you felt like okay it's never gonna happen for me because it's been a minute and i'm getting older or like every time i try i keep failing something is going to happen with the page of pentacle where it's going to allow you to try one more time and this time it's going to be successful like i feel like it's not time for you to give up you're almost close to the finish line and it's like it's time for you to make a choice because the lovers is about an option two options it doesn't always have to be about like another lover it could be two choices that you need to make and then one is not that it's bad none of them is bad but it's going to change the trajectory of your life you're going to go in two different paths whichever one you take is not they're not intertwined so i'm getting here that with the lovers you're going to need to make a choice re regarding a situation that you're in it could be like okay for instance you get the opportunity of a lifetime to be like a model or something i'm just giving that's the example that's being brought to me and but you work a nine to five right now let's say a modeling agency signs you and then they give you a 50 million dollar contract but you have a nine to five you have to quit your job because you have to go on tour you have to go on road maybe you're a model for like a specific magazine or maybe you're busy you're booking busy like you're going to be booking busy so you can't work your nine to five and then do modeling at the same time because there you're it's not like you're getting one gig here one gig there it's like back to back you, you're all week you know for like the next six months you're booked you're busy and you you have to be available because they could call you at any time or like the like the shootings that you're doing and stuff like that like where you're going for your photo shoots and stuff it's like any time of the day so you have to be available you can't work your nine to five that's what i'm getting here something like that where you're going to have to make a choice because you can't do both at the same time because one is going to require more of your time and then the other one is going to be like kind of like in the middle where it's like okay well if you keep your nine to five you're going to lose this opportunity and it's not going to come back again and i feel like some of you is something that you always wanted to do when you were young what unexpected blessings is coming towards you we have the two cups yeah it's like some sort of partnership with the lovers and the two cups i don't feel like it's love i'm not getting love i'm getting like it's something that you always wanted to do with the page of pentacles is something like tangible that you could touch okay or like it's like in the physical realm that's what I'm getting with the two of Pentacles another two of Pentacles the page of Pentacles what unexpected blessings is coming to you yeah it's something that you've manifested with the magician and you have to take a leap of faith yeah that's what I'm getting like it's something that is like is scary because you don't know what's gonna happen a job is technically a little bit more secure but not necessarily because if they could fire you at any time they can lay you off right so it's not secure in a sense but it's like you know what to expect because you've been working at that job for a long time you've been doing the same thing for a long time so you know what to expect so if something happens then you know what to do but this is going to be an opportunity of a lifetime that you have manifested with the magician and it's really like okay are you going to sit back and allow this to pass you by or are you going to take that leap of faith and go into the unknown where you you don't you're not really sure how this is going to end because there's no guarantee that you're going to be extremely successful or there's no guarantee that this is going to last 10 years or 20 years like you don't know that but are you going to let it go by that's what i'm getting here are you going to let it pass by what unexpected blessings is coming towards you wow we have the nine of swords you're kind of worried about that maybe i feel like some of you already know that this is coming true or you already have the opportunity and then you're worried you're stressed out what unexpected blessings is coming towards you what unexpected blessings um so this is the world card okay i think i'm gonna hide this because i don't want youtube to flag me yeah the world like this is a, like a chapter yeah this is a chapter that's um 
completed. This is the blessing that's coming towards you. But I feel like you have to take that leap of faith though. Like if you don't take that leap of faith, you're the, you're going to be losing out on this opportunity. It's not going to come back. It's not going to come back. This is what I'm getting here. What unexpected blessings is coming towards you? Yeah, this is like a blessing from the universe. Yeah, six of pentacles. This um, new blessing, this new opportunity is going to be equal. Like you're not going to, whatever you put into your, your endeavor, okay, is going to come back tenfold. It's not going to be like, oh, okay, you're going to have to put in so much work in order to be successful at it. Like, no, you, whatever you put in is exactly what you get back. This is what I'm getting here. It's like a wonderful new opportunity that you always wanted to have. And it's finally coming towards you. Yes. With the wheel of fortune uh, and the hermit. This is destiny. This is like something you've manifested and it was destined for you to experience this in this lifetime. This is written for you in the stars, but it's like only you could stop this if you don't take it. Like if you don't go for it, then you know, you're the one that's going to lose out on it. But this is something that you have to do on your own. This, um, like basically the decision is yours alone. Do not um, allow anybody else to interfere or tell you, oh no, don't do this. It's not going to be successful. Just keep your job. Yo, yo, they pay you that much. Why would you want to leave it? Because I feel like maybe your job pays you like 80,000, 100, 100K a year, like between 80,000 and 100K a year. And maybe they feel like, okay, well, that's a lot of money. But really, when you think about it, inflation and everything, cost of living, it's not really that much money. <laughs> like, honestly, it's not. Um, especially if you live, like, you know, in a developed country like Canada and the U.S. Like, no, it's not it, It's not that much money if the rent, your rent is $2,000. No, it's not. Okay? And taxes? No, 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 no. So, I feel like this opportunity... <clears throat> is much better than what um, you expected as well. But this is something that you're supposed to do on your own with the um, with this energy, with the hermit, okay? You have to look within yourself. But this is destiny, okay? You could have Sagittarius in your chart. We have Gemini um, as well, Virgo. We have Virgo twice, Gemini twice, um, Aries and Sagittarius okay so this is destined for you what is the unexpected blessing coming towards you yeah three of cups is going to bring you joy you're going to be so happy you're going to be celebrating some of you are going to be reuniting with friends as well yeah it's okay wow we have the tower Scorpio energy it's going to be it's going to like this opportunity is going to happen when you least expect it. Okay. Cause I feel like you're, you're probably already give up on that. You're probably like, okay, well I'm too old or it hasn't happened for me or like, how am I going to do this? I have this job. I have this, okay, maybe you're a parent. You're like, okay, maybe I have like, okay, I have two kids. I can't do this. I don't have the time. I don't have the energy. Like, no, this is going to happen unexpectedly. And it's going to be like, now or never that's the energy i'm getting like either you make the choice now and you take that leap and then you go for it or you lose that opportunity and it never comes back again because it's like the wheel is turning in your favor right now and now you have the power because you know you have free will right so you get to decide whether or not you're going to take the opportunity what unexpected yes we have the page of wands okay it's going to be a very exciting opportunity yes you have the strength to take it. You have the strength to go with within you to go forward with this decision. I feel like some of you are scared that you might not be successful and you'd rather stay where you're at because it's more, like I said, secure, but it's not really. It's just an illusion. What unexpected blessings is coming towards you? Yeah, we have the Page of Swords. We have the uh, Queen of Pentacles and we have the Ace of Swords. Yes. You're going to be signing a contract and it's going to bring you in the queen of pentacles energy like i said page of pentacles is going to start off small but eventually it's going to grow you're going to be learning a lot maybe you're going to have to read scripts some of you i feel like it's like um acting dancing something to do with show business or 
something to do with um, creativity that you're going to be doing and it's going to bring you in the queen of pentacles energy where you're going to be self-sufficient you're going to be independent you're going to have like you know the money that you need in order to be successful like in anything that you do so it's like you're not going to be lacking any money like whatever you're getting paid right now at your regular job is nothing compared to what you're about to receive like i said maybe you're getting paid like a good amount of money but really when you want to do extra things like it's not really as good as you really want it to be like you're not really living that life of luxury but with this new opportunity that's coming towards you it's going to allow you to live that life of wish fulfillment that life of desire but you're going to be learning a lot it's going to be very exciting with the page of wands and you're going to be signing some sort of contract with the ace of swords that's what i'm getting here make sure you read your contract before you sign it what unexpected blessings and ask questions if you don't understand something okay you're allowed to ask questions what unexpected blessings is coming towards you guys i can't make it up i can't make it up ace of pentacles something solid a big offer i'm telling you you're going to be signing some sort of contract with the ace of swords that's going to solidify you it's a financial opportunity like it's an opportunity that's going to bring a lot of financial stability okay with the queen of pentacles yeah a lot of stability four of pentacles you're going to be stable like you're not going to have to worry like it's like legit it's like everything is like right perfect for you because it's destined what unexpected blessing when can she do it says peaceful resolution yeah if there's something that you need to do at your workplace in order to like you know leave transition to this period of like self-employment then it's going to be smooth like this is going to be a uh, smooth transition what an unexpected it says don't stop yeah don't stop i got that for pile number one as well like don't stop i feel like these blessings is like too good to be true for some of you and it's like no it's not it's it's because it's the spirits that said it's for you it's not too good to be true like trust in yourself trust that it's possible for you trust that it's like it's legit that it's like something that you've manifested with the magician it's like some of you are scared of your own manifestation powers what unexpected blessings it says let go yeah i i really feel like it's your job you're gonna know okay this is a general reading you're gonna know once it happens for you because i feel like some of you it has not happened yet some of you are very close to it once it does i'm getting like you're gonna know you're gonna know you're ready <laughs> spirit is like yo you're ready like stop playing okay if you believe it's really in the power is in your hand okay be assertive i cut the deck open yeah you're ready spirit is saying that you're ready you're ready for this this is the moment of a lifetime you know what i'm what song i'm channeling right now is that Nicki minaj and drake a uh, moment for life when she says this is my moment i waited all my life i could tell it's time this is your time drifting away I'm one with the sunset I have become alive I'm telling you this is your moment I'm getting chills as I'm singing that I'm telling you this is like don't well I can't tell you what to do but you will know like it's gonna be like I feel like it's gonna be like a uh, like you're gonna feel a rush you're gonna feel like oh my god you know when okay it's really gonna be like the full energy you know when you're at a cliff the edge of a cliff and it's like oh my god i'm about to fall that's how you're going to feel because it's going to be like that because it's like oh my god if i do take that leap i don't know what's gonna happen but it's like okay but if you don't take that leap you're gonna regret it it's really up to you i'm not like forcing you i'm not telling you that you have to do it like this no i'm really telling you what the choices are going to be because we do have the lovers and i did say at the beginning the two choices are going to be two different paths you're not they're not intertwined you cannot like i said you cannot do that and then do your job you won't be able to because it's not going to be connected it's not something that you could alchemize you can't you won't be able to because it's going to be like either this or that it's really going to be like that okay so that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. 
Hi Pal3, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number three, you picked the gray egg and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous spa or previous readings, okay? So my pal number three, what unexpected blessings are coming towards you? What unexpected blessings are coming towards you? for you ooh, ooh, we have the empress for you i found number three. Ooh, this is like a glow up slash blessings um oh it's like all in one like a combination of multiple things for you my pal number three it's like you know what i'm getting Whew, people are gonna have to watch you be blessed like people are gonna be so mad that they like this is going to be a period where people are going to have they're going to wish they treated you differently they're going to wish they had like your back or they're going to wish that they never talked bad about you or never told your secrets because like you're manifesting the life of your desire so i feel like if you are a woman watching here this is really going to be like um that soft um soft woman era you know that it girl era where you're just doing you you're just leveling up in every aspect of your life i feel like some of you have been like you know doing your meditation manifestation um you have been doing all of that good jazz maybe you have a youtube channel that you talk about you know feminine lifestyle beauty hygiene whatever it is like i feel like you have one of those channels as well and then this is about to blow up your channel is about to blow up with the empress i feel like you're going to be recognized as one of the best in your field when it comes to that or you're just like in your life all together you're about to experience something like wonderful and then we have the eight of swords i don't feel like this is your energy i feel like this is like something that is being released from your life with the eight of swords like some sort of worry anxiety that you had in the past is being released what unexpected blessings is coming towards you oh oh my god guys oh my god oh my god the emperor and the empress your divine counterpart Ooh, and the chariot your divine counterpart the empress we have the empress as the main energy the emperor and the chariot some of you are going to be blessed with a new car a new vehicle um i heard mercedes benz um yeah and mercedes benz i'm also getting like a tesla for some of you if that's like you know the type of car that you like i'm gonna like tesla yeah with the chariot some of you are gonna be moving into it um like let's say if you have um you've been thinking about buying a home and you're wondering if you're going to be able to do so because of your credit or something like that or maybe you don't have like you feel like you may have not you don't have enough for the down payment but i'm getting like yes you're going to be approved it's going to be a yes some of you you're definitely meeting your divine counterpart like you and your divine counterpart are supposed to be doing something great it's like just great is what you guys are supposed to come together and do is greater than just love yes your love is going to be powerful but you have some sort of like um spiritual power that you guys have to collide with collaborate with and then help the world maybe like your relationship is going to heal a lot of people because maybe you guys want to be honest about your relationship your ups and downs your you know so people can see that you know relationship is not all like all like beautiful all the time sometimes you know there is the bad and there is the ugly but when i mean the bad and the ugly it doesn't mean like cheating and stuff or abuse that's not bad and ugly that's that's downright like something that you don't want to experience the bad and ugly is when you guys don't get along there is misunderstanding and you know those are the bad and ugly 
but like when it's like yo the person's putting their hands on you they're abusing you like nah nah that's not the bad and ugly no that's not what we're talking about but you and your divine counterpart are going to come together if you don't want to have a divine counterpart like you don't really care about that i feel like you're going to be able to um bring together your feminine and masculine energy with the um i heard lovers so you may have gemini in your chart as well because gemini is yin and yang um so i'm gonna like with these two energies you're also gonna be able to combine that together like your feminine and masculine energy to manifest things with ease so you may have like your own business as well it's going to take off something is about to take off for you something that was worrying you in the past with the eight of swords that's the blessings that's coming towards you yeah we have temperance sagittarius energy yo we have so many major arcanas for you my pal number three you have something major that's happening for you like a major blessing because i feel like you have been working diligently at this you're going to be able to alchemize two elements that's what i'm getting here with the the empress and the emperor you're gonna be able to alchemize two different elements within yourself to create something beautiful you're i feel like you're meant to be in a spotlight my pal number three star-like energy even though the star is not here but i'm gonna like star-like energy i wouldn't be surprised if the star comes out what unexpected blessings is coming towards you oh we have justice holy moly like just major arcanas after major arcanas we only have one minor holy moly that's just to tell you that whatever you're worrying about is nothing compared to what is about to come for you that blessing is coming for you i feel like some of you, if you have some sort of legal issue coming uh, going on, it's going to go in your favor with the justice card because it's upright. What unexpected blessings is coming towards you? This is the king of swords. Okay, some sort of contract. Sorry about that, guys. I'm having a hard time just picking it up. Yeah, some sort of contract with the, the king of swords. That is like... Um, you're gonna be able to, you're gonna be signing some sort of contract i i heard somebody's gonna be crowned like you're gonna um uh, yeah like maybe you're graduating graduating with honors yeah maybe some sort of graduation with honors like you're being honored for something you're being recognized you're gonna win some sort of prize some of you maybe you are you're doing some sort of contest swimsuit i heard swimsuit modeling contest or some like if it's not modeling contest i'm also getting like um draft you're being drafted for football basketball something like that like you're you're going to be selected for something that's the blessings that you don't see coming i feel like maybe you're worried about that that you're not going to be um because there's a lot of competition and you feel like okay you maybe you don't you ain't got it or there's too much competition but i'm getting like no it, this is for you this is meant to happen for you you're meant to be there like this is uh something that you manifested and you worked really hard for it you're it's coming to you with ease it's meant to be for you but you're going to be signing some sort of contract legal binding contract what unexpected yeah something that you always wanted when you were a child this is like a dream coming true with the six of cups i'm getting what unexpected blessings uh, what do we have here? The Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, this is amazing. Mm, financial stability is coming towards you as well. Like with this contract that you're about to sign with the King of Swords, is financial stability. It's going to bring you a lot of financial stability. What unexpected blessings is coming towards you? Ooh, we have the Five of Cups. Okay. It could be something that you felt like you lost. With the five of cups is coming back but like i said earlier when i started this reading people are going to be in the five of cups energy they're going to feel some type of way about your blessings because you're going to this is going to be something that's going to be public where other people are going to wow somebody doesn't want me to talk other people are going to see it's going to be publicized it's not something that you're going to be able to keep to yourself because it's something that other people are going to be part of so let's say for instance going back to being drafted if you're being drafted into a football team you're going to play football your name is going to be mentioned you're like you know you're going to be in the public eye so you're not going to be able to hide that same thing let's say if you are an actor or an actress well if you play in a movie you're going to be seen on the pub on the big screen right so you're not going to be able to hide that you're an actor 
like if you're the movie that you're going to be playing in is like a a box office movie like big movie like you your name is going to be on the list of the cast members and all like the jazz so you won't be able to hide that this is what i'm getting here okay what do we have here okay that's too many cards so what unexpected blessings is coming towards you my pal number three Ooh, we have the queen of cups and we have the knight of cups Ooh, some of you could love could be coming in because we have the empress and the emperor i'm telling you emotional fulfillment with the queen of cups and the knight of cups somebody somebody's gonna ask you out on a date and i feel like it's gonna be somebody that you actually really like and now we have the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck guys i'm telling you this is gonna be like a memorable time for you I feel like pile number three, you're kind of like a mixture of pile number one and pile number two. Because pile number one was like a different um, energy in pile number two. But I feel like yours is a combination of the, the, them two. What unexpected blessings is coming towards you? Yeah, we have the three of swords. Okay, somebody's going to be like, there's going to be like a, a rejection that's going to be like a blessing. Something that is not meant to be in your path is going to be released from you with the three of swords and it's going to be a blessing initially maybe you might feel like oh my gosh i'm being rejected but i feel like you're just being redirected to something better and that's what it is it's going to be something better we have the queen of swords for some of you it could be like a breakup like you like let's say if you're dating somebody and then it's just like not working out you might break up with this person because they're holding you back and then you will meet your soulmate with the emperor and the empress because i kind of feel like there is like a misunderstanding or a static -y energy around you that is like kind of like maybe putting you in the eight of swords energy keeping you there keeping you trapped so that way you don't move forward what unexpected blessings is coming towards you my pile number three we are we have the knight of wands a lot of traveling a lot of fast forward movement because we do have the chariot here so a lot of you are going to be moving um you know getting a new car <clears throat> getting more attention you see i can't speak like the whole reading like my throat chakra was like kind of blocked so somebody doesn't want you guys to know about your blessings that's coming towards you okay like definitely blocking that energy what unexpected blessings are coming towards you my pile number three yeah you see wow we have the ace of pentacles a financial opportunity um tangible opportunity so a large sum of money is coming towards you as well i feel like if you're about to do your taxes your return your refund is going to be bigger larger than you expected and you're not going to experience any hiccups when it comes to doing your taxes maybe in the previous years there was always some sort of delay always some sort of hiccups it's not going to happen we have the page of source so you're definitely being watched analyzed not in a negative way but it's like in a positive way where people want to work with you want to collaborate with you and like i said earlier with the king of swords you're about to sign some sort of illegal binding contract that's gonna mm, i heard lottery you're gonna get a check something to do with money that like you're gonna be winning something and it's gonna be it's gonna bring you a lot of like emotional satisfaction and um you know monetary satisfaction where you're going to be financially stable and abundant where you're not going to worry about money anymore you're not going to worry about like your next paycheck and i feel like some of you are going to be relocating too that's going to be like a blessing because it's going to allow you to let's say for instance you're you live in canada and you live in a small city you're going to be relocating to like montreal or toronto vancouver calgary somewhere where it's like where they make movies where they do like acting you know where it's like where it's at like the major cities in your country okay i'm just naming these like cities in like canada but like it's the same thing for like the states like you like new york la okay miami something like that like you're going to be relocating somewhere where it's like the opportunities are going to be much better for you when it comes to what you're trying to do because it's like where they're doing the drafting or like where there's like the major like like the big boss like are you know like because toronto like you're you're likely to find like a casting you know they make movies in toronto it's like you're you could bump into a celebrity in toronto downtown toronto because they come here to do movies and obviously like you know um <clears throat> what's the center downtown oh i forgot like where you go for concert and stuff like that so it's like you're more likely to see a celebrity 
downtown Toronto than you were to see a celebrity downtown like Ottawa or something like that. Not that it doesn't happen in Ottawa, but I'm just saying like Toronto is more likely, even Montreal, the same thing. Like, you know, there's like when the celebrities, they do tours in Canada, it's like Toronto is like one of the main cities, Vancouver, Montreal, you know, that, that, those are the cities that they go to. And let's say if you wanted to be part of something like that, this is where you would have to go to move to. So this is what I'm getting here. Some of you are like leaving your hometown to go somewhere where you have better opportunities and you're going to be able to do so with this with money or something like some new opportunity that's going to allow you to do make that move and some people are going to be upset with you for making that move because they can't come with you so what unexpected blessings is coming towards you wow it says there is something better i'm telling you whatever you're doing right now there's something better yeah because you're worried with the eight of swords what unexpected blessings coming towards you? What unexpected blessings? Yes. Guys, I can't make it up. <laughs> Just say this like, yes, girl. Tell them. Oh, 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 my God, guys. Opportunity. I can't make it up. I'm telling you, something to do with new opportunities coming towards you. You moving, like not all of you is going to be moving. Some of you already live in those cities. So that's just confirmation that you made the right choice. Because maybe like, you're like, oh my God, I've been here for like five years and still nothing is popping for me. Yes, it's just like, you know, maybe you needed to learn certain things before something happened for you. So I'm really getting like, you're right there. Like you're just right at the finish line. What unexpected blessings is coming? Oh, it says get more information. So yeah, that's like about like signing your contract. That could be also about that opportunity that I said, like three of swords that you might feel rejected from, but it may not be the right thing for you. That's why you're being reject rejected and redirected and a new opportunity is gonna come towards you. Okay? So that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in my next video, part number three. Bye!